Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy you're all here with me today. And today is Merry Monday. Yeah, we've been gone a little bit from a Merry Monday. I know, but you know, uh, so much going on. It's hard to fit everything in in your schedule that you want to do, right? So today we're not just doing Merry Monday. Now, when I do Merry Mondays from here on out, because it is Easter and spring, we'll be doing Merry Monday pieces and possibly or probably Easter or spring decorating, creating pieces kind of falls under the stack your stash because what we do here, of course, you can stack your stash with it, right? So uh, I'm going to be stacking my Christmas stash is what I'm going to be doing. That's what Merry Mondays are going to be all about is stacking my Christmas stash. So I could go stack your stash Christmas style. <laughs> so anyway today we're going to be working with junk from your house i hate to call it junk but it's trash it's junk this should go in the trash right um and some scraps so it's a good day to clean out your scraps clean out some of your junk uh i forgot to tell you that you should be saving your junk you know like what you have packaging um what you have that you like from things that you buy or you get or you open or eat now this is like one of my little junk boxes right it's all bits and pieces of things that i've got and tags and all kinds of goodies now these are great to decorate because they become your substrate in other words instead of buying cardstock and wasting money you just can use things that maybe you have taken off of a package right so start saving those instead of throwing them away do a little recycling. This is cardboard I've cut up, different boxes. This is a Christmas thing. Um, and so these also make wonderful tags and journal cards and things to put in the pocket. So start saving that stuff because this is the kind of thing we're going to use to build our stash and our Christmas stash um, and turn into tags and other things that we can, we can work with, right? So that was getting really big and I had to, hold on a minute. And I actually had to go through and toss some of it. It was crazy building it. I just had too much, right? So um, I've been saving forever. Anyway, so we're going to go on today's project. How are all of you guys? I hope you're good. Everybody's safe. Oh my gosh, we just went through a horrendous storm last night in California. So that would have been Friday night into Saturday morning. High, high winds slamming into the house. I swear, I'm surprised we have a roof. Scared me so bad. Just crazy bad. Things were flying around outside and I've never seen our palm trees bend over. You know, I was like, oh my God. Those things usually, the palms at the top will move, but not the entire tree. And that's rare. I wasn't sure if one was going to land on the house. It was like crazy bad last night. So I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> so I'll try to make sense, right? <laughs> but I wanted to do this video. Been wanting to do this video for a long time. Got some scraps here. I'm going to set those off to the side for a minute. And we're going to be working with, because I have so many, um, as you know, so many digitals, I have so many ink boxes. And I'm part of the Insta Ink program with the HP printer that I have. So I get two of these little cards every single time I get an order of ink. Look at that. And I mean, I've been throwing these away too. So we're going to use these and we're going to collage on these. I don't know how big I want to make this collage. Should we do three, maybe? Or do them this way? No, let's go this way. Wait, I'll, have to, I'll have to see what fits in the screen. Hold on. I'll put these out down, then I'll check my... That barely makes a dent, right? Jeez. Um, let me see. I was trying to see where we're at. Okay. It's kind of the middle. Kind of the middle, but not really. Sort of, kind of. All right. So, we're going to put these very close together. But maybe, I guess, I guess close, close. I guess they need to be close, close. I see people do this with all kinds of things, book pages and other stuff. So I thought, well, why not use these? I mean, I got a lot of them, right? Oh, whoops. Guess what I forgot. I will definitely need a glue mat. Oh, uh, this one's seen better days. I should watch that one. I thought I took those all downstairs. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, all right, let's use this one. Now that I got these all lined up, I'm going to make a mess. Oh, well, start over. Start over. Okay, let's do this and this. And will these fit on here? 
Only if I go to the top. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to need two glue mats today. One to work on and one to glue on, right? I might have to move those off to the other side. Stay over there. I probably should have ah, brought in a TV tray today. Come on, no. Put them below me for the moment while I get set up. Okay. Maybe I could have just set this up before we started. I don't know. I guess I will pull out the really big gluey mat, put that on there. I'm going to move these for a moment. I had a rubber band, and I have so many, right? Crazy. All right, now, the first thing I want to do is I want to find something long and narrow. I don't really have a plan for what I want it to look like. It's looking to see if I have, yeah, I have, like, longer strips. And... Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Christmas strips? I probably do, huh? That'd be great if I had strips. I'm pretty sure. Hang on a minute. Got my little basket right next to me here. I know I have a big strip. Uh, ba um, a big bag of strips. Oh, I just gotta look where they are. Yeah. Here's some. I knew we had some. I don't know if those are the... the fancy ones or the extras. Two seconds. I'm right here. I didn't leave you. I swear. I'm still here. Okay. Alrighty then. Now, you can do this with any paper. You could do it with newspapers or telephone books or whatever your thing is, right? So, don't hesitate to um, use what you got. Alrighty. Let me see. Yeah, looks like I have all kinds of fun strips here. Yeah, this is perfect for this project because you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Um, are these? These are adhesive strips. Oh, this is a bag of adhesive strips. Whoops. Well, they're not really scraps, guys. I don't really know if I want to use something that's not really a scrap. But I guess we could. Why not, right? I don't know. Use what you want. Now, you could do this spring. You could do this Christmas. You can do... I'm just cutting off the little bits of white that didn't get cut off during, you know, whatever project I was doing at the time. I just need to get going. It's going to take me a minute. Give me a second. It's going to take a few seconds to get this project off the ground. And then it should go very fast, right? Because once we have our little cards, then we're going to decorate them. So it'll be quick and easy. <sighs> I guess I could do an Easter one too. I have never done Easter. Well, it's been probably three or four years since I've done anything Easter. You know, I always do shabby chic, which you could do spring or whatever at this time of year. So... I just got to hold it together until I get it. See, once you get that first piece on, that's kind of your, your base piece. Any strip will do. There we go. It kind of acts like your glue. Now it won't fall apart, right? Now you got, now you're good. Let me find my, all right. I think we've got out everything we need now. So you're going to need a little glue. You're going to need a little something or other. And then. Maybe to hold this one on, we can go like the opposite direction and see what we got. Oh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, I hate to use these. These are, see, these are label on the back. Right, let me see what's in my scraps. Let's stick with the scraps for now. I can go back if I need to. We've got that. Yeah. Hmm. We're going to need scissors too. In case I left that out. I guess I left that little tidbit out. Just give me a minute here to get myself uh, situated. I have not made any videos in a few weeks, so I'm a little out of practice. Forgive me. Usually I make one and then I, you know, Kind of like putting tape on right once you get it on then you're good right so that's gonna make that go well um 
Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, I have some music paper. This would go well. And if I have an edge I don't like, I can just kind of ink it a little bit if I'm afraid it's going to be like not looking good. Now, and you could go off the page, that's fine, because then you will just cut it all, make it all clean and pretty. So maybe we won't worry about being so precise, right? All right, I'm kind of just covering that up to get going. I just need to find a way to get going here. Hmm. Now these are scraps, but they're not always small enough scraps. So I'm going to use my little cutter or a pair of scissors to get everything down to where I want it, right? You can see this one, I cut out something. I think this one I was using my, um, what do you want to call it? My, not quite wide enough. So let's go ahead and put this in a corner or something. So how are you all? Are you doing well? Are you, have you, has the storm hit you guys yet when you see this on Monday? This is supposed to be pretty much a nationwide storm. It's coming down from Alaska and it's less slamming everybody. If you're in the foothills or something like that, you are getting a ton of snow. If you're like we are close to the coast, you're getting the wind and the rain, so we don't get the snow. But I know we're supposed to get up to upwards in the Sierra foothills, which is like Lake Tahoe, places like that, if you've ever heard of that. They're going to get hit pretty hard uh, with a whole lot of snow. I mean, they're supposed to get 69 to 70 inches, several, I don't know how many that comes up to, six feet? I don't know. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And so, you know, it's not going to be pretty up there. In fact, they're telling everybody it's blizzard whiteout conditions. Do not travel. Do not go. If you're not where you need to be by yesterday afternoon, which was Friday afternoon, don't go. You know, it's not safe. But, you know, there's always those people who think they know better and they'll go anyway and then they're stranded in the snow and they may freeze to death because at some point the road crews are not going to be out. It's going to be wide out conditions. So I hope people stay home, get smart, told everybody to in the foothills to stock up on their food and their water and be good, you know. Don't go out if you don't absolutely have to. I'm loving using all these little scraps that I've had just laying around and they don't look like anything but you know the nice thing about scraps is they're scraps and you can use them right when you need to got a lot of white edges so that's why I'm having to cut them off these are the off cuts from when you cut out things from your digitals and things and you know you got leftover pieces so I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I do like to do my four corners first. I've always done it that way. All right. What else do we want to put on there? Um, here's another little piece. I'm going to leave this little white piece on there. I think it's fine. Put it up there. So, I guess the groundhog, uh, I forget what he saw or didn't see, but I guess we have, we're supposed to have six more weeks of spring, of uh, winter last time. I think that was in the beginning of February, wasn't it, guys? I, I can't remember when he comes out. Paxitani, Phil. So, um, yeah, we're in for more, more winter than we'd like, I believe, you know. So just get out your scraps if you have any. Can be magazines, newspapers, phone book, scrapbook paper, digitals. If you don't have any scraps, cut up a piece of paper. You can still do the same thing. If you want to get rid of your trash. Oh, I have some of these. These are pretty. I got a lot of these. Sorry, I have to, to cut because I have a lot of white edges and I don't really want those in there. If I think I can cover something up with them, then yeah, I don't have to do that. But 
you know, I do want this to look nice. It's not just, I'm not making garbage here. This is going to become tags and um, journal cards, tuck spots. Okay, now for my new people. Uh, I had a young lady say, well, not young lady, but I had one of my viewers say, she might be a young lady, that she was new to journaling and she was, there were so many um, names and things and it was so confusing. She's right. So we have some basics. Uh, we have tags that you can put in a pocket or, you know, anywhere in your journal that you can write on the back if they're plain or even on the front, depending upon how you decorate them. We have pockets, okay, regular old pocket. Sometimes they have a gusset, meaning there's a space in the side that allows you to create extra room. And then we have tuck spots. A tuck spot is something that is glued on but there's an edge that you can tuck something in. So it could go down the side, could go across the bottom, could be a triangle, um, could be something across the top, it could be an image that you tuck something in under. So a tuck spot um, allows you to tuck things in, like a card or a tag. Now a journaling card could be big, because when you turn it over, you can journal on it. It could be small, you can write on it, very tiny. So you pick your size of your pocket, your journal card, or your tuck spot. And the journal card, the um, tags, are the two things that we use the most to put inside. We use booklets, notebooks, little notebooks that you can tuck in a pocket. The things that they go into are pockets, tuck spots, side tucks, corner tucks, things like that. So I hope that's kind of helpful. As I do them, I'll say what they are for those of you who are brand new who mentioned that you don't know what these things are, to help you a little bit. Okay, so, and I'm sorry for those of you who've been doing this a long time. Um, I know it's going to be boring for you, but we do have new people, and we have to consider that they found us, and we're thrilled because as long as our industry grows, it remains alive, right? So I have all these little itty bitties. Mm, let's do this one. I don't know where it's going to go. Maybe across the top here. So we want our industry to grow because then it won't die out. Now, someone said that, um, not to me, but to another uh, journaler, that they only want to see real junk journals. Now, a real junk journal is technically made from junk, right? So, and they are not decorated. They are not pretty. They are just all of this kind of thing made into a journal, and they write on it, or they slap a piece of paper, or they put a piece of paper on it. <laughs> trying to be nice. Um, and that's how I started out just using whatever I had, I made a journal from, right? And wrote on it. It was fun, great. But as time has gone on, I found I could take it to an arty level. So there's levels of art too. So I feel like um, you can, it's okay to have digital journals. It's okay to have scrapbook journals. It's okay to use all of the above. You can use junk from your house. Junk is like junk mail, like packaging, like I showed you, all the, that kind of thing, packaging and newspapers and, you know, everything you can find to write on. And that is kind of how some of the junk journals started out. But there were always fine journal makers, always, 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 that go, go all the way back to Roman time. I mean, journals have been around forever. So um, that's not a new thing, and it doesn't belong to the junk journalers either because, they were journals were around long before and made from every kind of substrate you can imagine from animal skin to fibers to fabric you know so it's not something new and it doesn't belong strictly to junk journals um i am a journal artist not a junk journal artist because right now i'm not using i mean i am right here but i'm also covering it up with digital papers and scrapbook papers because this is scrapbook right here this is music paper you know, um, so this actually becomes a multi or mixed media, a multi or mixed media product because I'm using all different kinds of papers. Now, if I added fiber to it or if I added paint, then I'd really be into the mixed media. Mixed media is where you're using all different kinds of things beyond paper. <laughs> yeah, this is a little more crafty, artsy. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, so... But little by little, this piece of junk is becoming covered with things. I need bigger pieces. I only have little ones. This is going to take me two hours if I keep using all these tiny little pieces. But that's what's in scraps for me if I even have scraps. Most of the time, I don't even have scraps. 
Let's go to a little bit bigger piece, maybe. Can I put that there? Yeah, but it's a bit tall. Now you notice down here is a lighter red, up here is a darker red. So when I cut this, I'm going to have some lovely um, bits. I know you can't really see when I'm gluing, but you really don't need to. Everybody knows how to glue, right? I'm gonna see what you're seeing. So I'm, I'm making sure I'm in. Oh, you're seeing most of what I'm doing. It's not bad. I'm gonna put this in the back. Oh, let's pull, let's pull out some pieces. It might be easier than me just pulling out one at a time. Oh, this is a piece of bag. See, we've got all kinds of things in here. <laughs> I got some, I got napkins, I got bags, I've got I don't know what I've got, honestly. All right, let's see what we got here. I got a little white doily. <clears throat> hmm. I might want to pull off a little bit of this. If it'll rip, if it'll rip. It did, kind of messily, but it ripped. So where can I put that? I don't really want that up there. Yep, we could do that. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to need some lunch when I'm done here. I'm filming this on Saturday morning for you on Monday because I have a busy, busy, busy week. Um, oh, I want to thank each and every one of you who has not only gone to the shop once, but has bought from us multiple times already. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough without you. We wouldn't have a shop. We, we, we just, I'm so happy you guys are happy with the products and what we're putting in. We are putting in new things every single day, just about. Because we're building, you know, we're trying to build up the stash, but it does sell out pretty quickly. So, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Maybe there? Yeah, let's put it down here. Um, so, thank you so much for your support. You guys means the world to us. Oh, my gosh. And you seem happy that, oh, look what's on the back of that. I didn't know there was anything back there. I think this is a wrapping paper, actually. So, see, I'm using all different kinds of things. Paper bag, wrapping paper. I mean, if all you have is wrapping paper or scraps, yay, go get it. Yeah, and use it. So thank you so much. We're we're keeping busy. We got orders coming in constantly, and and getting back out to you guys as fast as we can. Trying to load the shop as fast as we can to give you new things because many of you have been back so many times. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. You're so sweet. Oh, I can't thank you enough. This means everything. I know a lot of people use their, their rulers to rip, but um, if I do the ruler thing, we'll be here all day. You know, I'm not very good with a ruler. I mean, I don't do it enough is my problem. If I did it more often, it would be probably fine, you know. I actually am going to keep that little corner and do a punch a little hole out of that later. Okay. A circle. Okay. Um, okay, where can I put this? That's pretty good. Oh, oh, I need to move that over. Eek. Okay. All right. Oh, I got a red piece here. I'm going to add that. I need to get some red over this side, right? You can tell my scraps have been used for all kinds of fun, exciting things, right? Lots of cutouts. Oh, a lot of this is from a journal I did at Christmas. 
think I can get little, I don't know if that's worth saving or not. Well, no, I try to cut out um, when I am working with my scraps, just so you know. Let's see, I'm looking to see if I have my little tiny punch or where my little hole punch is. Do I have it? I do. Okay, I use these for... Why are my hubby talking? I don't know if he's on the phone or if we have company that came over. I don't think it'd be Jolene. She was here all day yesterday with me. We were working on inventory for you, putting together packages. So I use these oh, as hole reinforcers for my tags. So... These are kind of a good size to, you know, put on the top of a tag. So when you tie in your little string or bow or whatever, you don't, um, you don't rip it out. So that's what I, while I'm working on a project, I always, I never waste, like I'm, I don't waste my time and I don't waste my papers. I go get every inch I can. But this paper and ink are, oh, they're rare, right? So those will go into the little baggie and I'll be using them because we're doing Christmas. I'll probably be pulling them out and say, oh, look, remember these? Um, where do I want to put this? Uh, I do not like working with little scraps. I always use big pieces and I should be done by now, right? So I want to get some red on here. I'll just put it up here. Oh man, sticky fingers have arrived. But I do have a little wet one here. Huh. I think it is my daughter talking to my husband. I hope her fences or something didn't go down in the storm or she didn't get any roof damage last night. It was crazy. It was so insane. Literally nutso last night. All of our fences have pretty much been replaced from the last few crazy storms like that. So I'm thinking we're, you know, a lot of my neighbors too have really replaced their fences over time. So hopefully we're all pretty good right in our immediate area. But my daughter lives in an area where she grew up by our old neighborhood. So those fences are, who 50 years old maybe? I mean, we lived in that home for 22 years and we lived in a new home. So her home as she lives in is a bit older than that. So she might have some damage, hopefully none to her roof. Uh, we haven't, we have to get up the hill, go up our hill in the backyard there. Many of you have seen it from the windows um, in a variety of videos that I'll go up to the top of the hill and look at the roof and see. I know Joe had across the street had damage to his during our last storm. So hopefully he's okay. Uh, what else can we put on there? How about some more checks? We need some, this is a pretty big piece. It's not, I mean, it's a scrap because that's not an eight and a half by 11 at this point. But if I can get it in here, I'm going to use it. I'm trying to figure out where it could go. Well, that would finish off that piece up there. That would stop driving me nuts, right? Okay. Hmm, what shall I have for lunch, guys? Any suggestions? <laughs> oh. Well, with the holidays, I've gotten a bit chunky, so I feel like it's time to back it up and stop eating the goodies. A good girl. I have a sugar fetish. I love sugar. Candy. Oh, candy and cookies are my favorite. Oh, and ice cream. But the candy is like um, gumdrops or uh, uh, jelly beans or hot tamales. That kind of thing. Occasionally, I'll go for the chocolate, but it's usually that's more of a stress thing. <laughs> I'm feeling stressed. There's a tiny little something there. I need to put something there. I think I could do it with this. Let's see if I could. Oh, no, that matches that. That wasn't good. Hold on. Let me see if I can find something little. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to cut off a finger here. Let's see how I just keep using these tiny itty bitty little pieces. See, now I don't think even a circle would fit on that one. I don't think I can get a little circle out of that. I know, crazy, huh? I'm crazy. Oh, yes, I can. 
Um, this is a three quarter inch, so yeah, it's good. Before I throw that away, I always check it to see if I could do something with it. Like this one, absolutely can. Ooh, this is the most gorgeous red. Oh my gosh, I did a whole journal in this, you guys, you remember? Can't remember the name of it, but um, if I move that over, I could have used a cut and a couple others out of it, but that's fine. So I'm doing two projects at once, and both of them are Christmas. And guess what? I miss the garbage every time I've been throwing stuff away under behind me. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleanup. Okie dokie. <laughs> What are you guys up to? Anything exciting? Are you doing anything good? Betty, I hope you're hanging in there. I know you're having a really rough time. You're in our prayers and thoughts. You and your hubby. I know he's going through a terrible time right now. Alrighty, let's see. Ooh, well, I know I'm not gonna get much out of this, so it's definitely gonna be a circle, right? Can I get two? Not quite, but that's okay. I'll take one. I can never have enough of these little, I do all kinds of things with these, not just that. You'll, you'll see. As time goes on, you will see what I do with all these bits and pieces. Anyway, I'm not going to sit and punch all of them, believe me. But they're the reason they're still here is because I'm like, oh, I can cut a little circle out of that. Or I could do this or I could do that with it, right? So let's put this up here again. I love this paper. I wouldn't care if the whole thing was that, right? Oh, wait. How about down here? No. Over here? No. How about up here? Yeah. Let's put them up there. Oh, that's a piece of paper there. There's already a piece of paper there. There's, oh. Okay, so maybe not that one. All right, let's see what else have I got here. I need something different. Some more white. No, that's really light right there, and I have a light piece there. So nope, nope, nope. All right. I know they say not to think about it, but when I'm doing something, I do random where I just throw anything down, but when I'm working on something specific like Christmas, um, I really want to make sure that I'm getting pieces that would kind of be okay together. I'm looking to see what else I got in here. Let's add some, I don't know. What should we add? I'm looking to see what I got in here. And then there's those pieces that you misprint and you're like, oh my gosh, I just messed up really bad with the printer. I don't think I want any blue in there because I'm not, this one doesn't have any blue in it. See, my printer was misbehaving. Actually, it's why I had to get a new printer. Let's do... I don't know what I'm doing. It could go sideways, I guess, right? But now you're probably thinking, well, why would you want to use that? Well, because normally I wouldn't use this. Can't use it in a journal looking like that, right? But these pieces get, get decorated. So they will probably have some sort of a main piece covering it up, like a focal point. So it's okay Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, um, to use them on something like this. Oh man, that's going to leave me a tiny little, but I do have tiny little strips, so it's fine. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this sh sh show on the road. And we have sun coming and going today, so I think I've got enough light in here to where we don't need to turn on any lights. Um, so, I know you're hearing a lot about the shop, but that's what's my life right now. So I, I, I'm sorry if those of you who are tired of it, but I don't have a whole lot to talk about besides that, because I mean, 
my husband, my daughter, and myself are busy, busy. My hubby goes and picks up the girls from school if we're busy so that we can keep working. Um, and he goes to the post office for us. <laughs> he delivers. Daddy delivery service, we call it. He will deliver things to Jolene that she might need from me and vice versa. Then bring things back for me that I need. So we call it Daddy's Delivery Service, DDS. <laughs> Cute, huh? Oh, Jolene got a kick out of that when Greg said that the other day. He told her, hey, you know. And then he took a picture, you know, like Amazon does. It was very cute. Very cute, his plan. So, yeah, we're we're having fun with it. I mean, there's days where it's exhausting, and I just, I'm thinking, why am I doing this? I'm so overwhelmed. But then there's good days like yesterday that were just fun and easy, and it just went well. And, you know, it's fun because we try to figure out what we're going to put in there and what we're going to do. Ooh, you guys, I'm, I'm going to give you a tickler. Um... I have a beautiful, what's called a, I think it's called Peterson's book. Um, there's also a Getty Vogue, right? And that's 1864. So I'm putting together printed kits or bundles, I should say, of the 1864 pages. And, oh, it's going to be so pretty. I love those images. It's 1864 fashion. It was a fashion book at that time that the ladies used. Look at that. Okay, uh, from that... To that. Don't you love it? Now, of course, we aren't going to be able to use it if it looks like that on the back, right? So let me get, I'm going to move this stuff for the moment. Let me get something to cover the back. Oh, one of my cabinet. I need to stand up anyway. Doctor says I need to keep moving around with these legs. Not to sit too long, stand too long, or walk too long. Okay, that ought to be interesting, right? So I have a lot of, you know, scraps. So I figured what we could do is grab a few of them and put them on there, right? I've got littler scraps and bigger scraps. We just want um, neutral scraps, right? So we can write on it once we cut it up. And then we'll cut it up. From, we'll do the the fun thing where you cut it from the back and you can't see it, right? You don't know what you're cutting. Let me get, I like this paper a lot. But I don't think I want to. <clears throat> well, I might as well, right? Just cover it up. And then we use like that on there. Okay. Oh, goodness. Ah! That's what I get for not using the ruler, right? I'm going to hold that up for a minute because I know I'm going to need it. You should see the pile next to me. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. Okay. Some of these papers you can kind of see through, but I still think they're fine, right? What time is it? Oh, got to watch my time. Hopefully that wasn't too painful to watch. I don't do a lot of collaging on camera. I always do my collaging off camera, but I wanted to show you how to use these instant ink cards, right? So... I figured, well, and now I'm going to go off on purpose and then trim it up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I'm sticking to the paper. I'm using a wet one because the dry one ain't going to cut it. <laughs> I mean, isn't going to cut it. So, yeah, I have the, that is coming to the shop in the next few days, or is already in. It may have already been in. Could have gone out already. I'm only going to do a limited number, just a few. So, if you see something like that in the shop, whatever there is is all there is. And then once it sells out, it sells out. We're bringing in bling. We're bringing in lace. We're bringing in some 
um, more charms, more of my butterflies, some other stuff that's personal to me that I'm going to make. Ugh, that one's done. It's just got too much on it to where it's sticky. I'm going to switch to another mat, and after this video, I'll take it downstairs, give it a good wash, and it'll be ready to go again, right? Could be help if we take the lid off. <laughs> what happens when a storm keeps you awake all night oh my goodness and I was tired I had not slept the night before so I was so tired I was dead asleep in the library and when it smacked into the corner of that how of the house because my neighbors on one side of my house are not two-story on the other side is and above me is but they're single story so we were getting some wind on that side of the house I gotta check the pergolo after I do this video and see how it's looking because we have a, a pergola in my Zen garden there. And um, we've had to replace it because the storms more than once. I mean, it just ripped the living daylights out of it. My neighbor, I noticed, had a rip in hers. I don't know how she fared last night. I heard stuff flying around in her yard, my neighbor Barbara, and that's like, oh my goodness. It's cool. I know all my neighbors all the way around me. Um, which is nice, you know. It's good to know your neighbors, even though I don't see them per se all the time. But when we see each other, you know, it's, hi, how are you? You know, definitely cordial, you know. It's nice to know everybody around you. I love my neighborhood so much. I would be heartbroken if we have to move. We're trying to find a way for me to stay in this house with these legs. So I don't want to move. I like where I live. I don't want too big a bump. I gotta be careful about that. Here, I thought we were done. No, we gotta put paper on here. Gotta cover the back. Then what I might do is move on to something else for a little bit and come back to this and cut it so you guys can see. Because I really want it to dry before we go putting the cutter through it because I think that's just gonna make a mess, you know? So you want just kind of neutrals on the back and so when you cut these up they can be used now more than likely I will not use these for pockets these are going to be used when it's cut up going to be used for journal cards and tags and you'll see what I mean by that if you're brand new hang in hopefully we'll get all the way through so you can see if not, you might have to watch the next video to see what I made, right? I don't think I have anything, you guys, that you guys haven't seen that I worked on. Because I don't think I've worked on anything, honestly. Been kind of preoccupied lately. What else have I got in here? Oh, I've got some of this paper. This ought to finish it off nicely. You can sort of see through it, but yeah, whatever. It's, it's um, what do you call it? Uh, packaging paper pecking paper. I think this is the paper from our move into this house. I had folded it up and stuck it in a box in the garage and it yellowed beautifully. It really, I don't know if you can see the age on this, but it's got some age on it. Looks great. Now, if you didn't get this, you can go back and get a little more glue or one thing. Oh, I like my bigger get a bigger area I, I see some things that looks like they did not go down well so what i'm going to do if i feel like there's something that's not glued well um i don't even know if that glue's open am i getting anything out no oh i'm making things but i can't show you because they're going into the shop so I'm working on more butterflies and some lovely dangles and, you know, stuff for your journals, journal jewelry, what I call journal jewelry. So I've been working on stuff like that. Not necessarily working on, um, am I getting anything out? Yeah, now I am. Now I am. That corner just wasn't going to glue. No matter what I did, it was not going to glue. I'm not great about getting glue to the edges because I'm worried about getting too much glue on everything, you know, so I don't go right to the edge like I should. This is getting to be a gluey mess. All right. Excuse me. 
that's what I stick my little wet towel in. It's a, it's an old lid of a um, spray can. And so I stick my little damp towel in there so it doesn't get on my papers. Because I made that mistake more than once. I'm not paying attention to where my wet towel was and um, ruining my paper. Because water and paper do not mix. They don't like each other. They get very crumpy with each other. Crumpy is my made-up word. It's crabby and grumpy, so you're crumpy. Crabby and grumpy, you're crumpy. I just tell my husband, you are so crumpy today. And he would look at me going, what are you talking about? Now it's a joke, right? Now we have that joke between us. Because there's days where you just, you think, what is wrong with me? Well, I'm crabby and I'm grumpy, so I'm crumpy. It can be more than one thing at a time, right? I'm trimming this down so I have a nice, clean substrate to work with when we get down to this. And of course, we'll clean it up even further with the with the cutter, the paper cutter. All right, so we are done on both sides. We're gonna let that dry for a bit. And I just ran over my paper cutter. Ah, hold on. Mm. Oh, I might have to bring Bertha over here, guys, because I don't know. I see edges. I know there's glue there. It just doesn't want to get down, you know. All right, we're gonna let that dry for just a few minutes. Set that up, move this over. Um, what else have we got now? Oh, all right, so let's work on just um, one or two that we can make some stuff out of. I think I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, this was a Rachel Roxy Creations um, challenge where, and this was from last year, and then she did it again this year, where she uh, turned this over, she took the book page, rolled up the edge, right, then folded it up to create a pocket that you would decorate, right? Now that's going to be too wide for my journal, so I'm going to cut it down. So it will fit on my page. Always keep in mind the size journal that you like to make. Um, mine can be from four and a half to five and a half wide to nine inches tall. So I'm making this four and a half. I figure four to four and a half is usually very safe for me. Um, so we're going to make a little pocket out of that and decorate it. I've got two done. I don't think I'll get those done. So I will fold this for the next, you know, I can do off camera. What I did was I turned it upside down and just turned over the top right here and then put it up so that this is right side up. Even if that's upside down, we're going to decorate both of these. So that's okay, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down the way I want them. Get a good size pocket. Boy, it's windy out still. We still got the storm. We got the wind part of the storm still. Uh, it rained. It was supposed to rain all day today and um, into tonight, but I'm, it's Saturday, so I don't really, I don't know if we're going to get that or not, you know. Boy, it's cat season. A little Tommy is being a little creep. Oh my gosh. He keeps on sneaking up on Misty and biting her when she doesn't see him. She and I were both asleep on the bed this morning and he came up and he bit her on the back twice before she woke up, you know, as she was trying to wake up and, and fend him off and but she was laying on me. So, you know, I was not happy with that cat because scared her, scared me. It's just being a little creep right now. Bad kitty. But during cat season, when they're mating, which he can't, he still has the desire, even though he doesn't have the capability, he's been fixed. And he's never had been able to do that. He's not, oh, you know, he, we got him when he was just five weeks old. So, you know, he's never had that chance to mate, but he sure wants to. I mean, he's got the, you know, he'll climb on her and try to, she's having none of it. She's like, get away from me. No way, buddy. They're both fixed, so... 
We probably let him go longer. I don't believe in fixing him when they're six weeks old. I, I like them to be about three months old. Um, so we probably waited longer than we should have with him because we were busy at the time or something was going on. And uh, but So he gets a little more, where does he get crabby? Oh, gets mean, he plays really rough, bites us. He's just not a happy camper. And then when it's over and they're done in their mating season, He's a little sweetheart again. Oh my goodness, he's my little lover boy. Comes and cuddles with me and purrs and he's just a little sweetheart, but not right now he's not, not liking him. All right, so those are pockets and those pockets you wanna decorate with something. Now, I was gonna do Easter for the pockets, but I think, I think I will wait for another video to do that. Um, and maybe, I was just gonna grab, hold on, I have one of my little binders here. My Christmas binders that have all my bits and pieces in them. I'm looking for a specific one. Wrong one. Be right back. I was not sure how far we were gonna get today, so I didn't know if we'd have time. I was hoping to have time to do this. Oh, we only have a few more minutes, I bet. Okay, so let's. I want to put some images on it. I was looking to see if I had my Roxy images here. No, I think I took them out. Mm. <clears throat> it's going to take me a bit to get back to Merry Monday, guys. I have all of my uh, Christmas kind of buried. You know, it's not like easy or accessible. Now, this is Christmas, so pardon me and excuse me while I look to see. Ooh, those are pretty. I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my Roxy labels. There they are. That's what I was looking for. All righty. So what I was thinking is that you're going to take and put an image at the top. Like maybe something that says Christmas Eve, right? So let's cut this out real quick. I want to get at least one of these done. And then I want to cut that other one up real quick. We may go over just because we. this is a, a lot to do in a video, right? I think my next video, if it's all right with you guys, we'll do um, Easter. We won't be doing a collage board. Uh, and we call it a collage board or a master board. I don't know why. It has to do with, uh, well, it's the base. And you're collaging on it. And it's a master board because it's a base that you're going to build on. I guess that's why they call it that. That's my understanding from what somebody told me when I asked when I was new. and said, what the heck is that? The queen of that is Gail Gustinelli. She does the most beautiful master boards on collage boards ever. She's got hundreds of them done. So we want to we want to decorate up here. Let me get some eh, glue. I wanted I didn't close the pocket up because I really wasn't sure how much I was going to cover up here or what I was going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this pocket close. And I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, if I make a few, I'll show you. I'll make two probably, cause I have multiple journals to finish. So we have two journals. There we go. So you have your pocket, right? It's there. And then you wanna put an image. So I'm gonna see, these aren't my images. Do I have any images cut and ready to go? Do I have people? Do I have, what do I have people? What do I have? I don't know. I have Tim Holtz. I'm trying to do it the quick way. Normally I would cut stuff, but let me see if I've got something we can put on the bottom. The goal is to add something so it comes up and over and it, it gives it dimension. These are dim two 3D dimensional. Um, I don't want a deer. There's not much in that one. I've used almost everything from there. I think that's like it for that, right? all my Tim Holtz goodies. So I'm looking to see if we have images in here, maybe. Oh, if I don't close that, that's going to be all over the place. Ooh, that's 
pretty. What if we do something like that? That's really pretty. I'll get, I'll get it. I'll have it out. I mean, I can't leave it out right now because of the everything that's going on. But um, what we would do here too is we would add a little bit of. There is book page there, but I could put. And I know I have Christmas book paper. Oh, here's some Christmas page right here. I just created a scrap, but I keep that with the with the music paper. I don't put that in my general. Um Let's do this. Oh, so back to the shop for a second. So for those of you who are purchasing on a regular basis and you're waiting for new things, they are coming. This things should have gone up over the weekend and all this week there will be more stuff coming in. So if you're going to place an order, although you're right to grab stuff, if there's only a little bit left, once some of these things are gone, they're not coming back. We haven't quite decided what's going to be our permanent stock yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that sort of up above so we get that dimensional. Yep. So I know from about here down. Oh, that pops out. Excuse my fingers. I was changing the ink in my um, printer and one of the cartridges was kind of inky. I grabbed it from the wrong place. And I'll tell you what, cartridge ink is the one thing that does not come out that well, I noticed. Okay. Eek! Oh, no. I'm trying to figure out what the top is on this. I was trying to figure out the best way to put this on. Okay. I just realized I don't want any glue up there. So isn't that pretty? What a pretty pocket. And then you could take a card, which I'll grab whatever I've got here, a card, and you just put it in there. Isn't that cute? What a darling pocket. So this is a good one for mass making for your stack your stash. Just get yourself some book pages or whatever you want, music paper, whatever you got, turn it up. And there you have a darling little pocket. I am going to, I bet you know, if you know me, you know what I'm doing. I wanna finish it off. So I'll make a couple of these before I uh, put everything away. So I have it for, cause I don't have time to do a second one, you know, right now. But you can see what those were. All right. And I'm gonna grab this and pull this off my desk real quick, throw it onto the floor. Oh, I'm going to have a lot to clean up. <laughs> now, let's get our board. Let's get our board. I want to cut this out. I think I'm going to need the big board. I don't think this will fit on my little board. Let me see. No, it won't. Darn it. Okay, one second. I'm going to have to bring Bertha over here. And we're going to... We are going to turn this over. And cut our pieces and then we'll wrap this up for today, okay? So, thanks for coming along and watching with me today and letting me craft with you. I was very excited. I haven't done any Christmas in a while. It feels really good, but I'm really, really, I spent all of the night before printing my Easter stuff because I haven't done Easter in years and I thought, why not? I'm not gonna do an Easter journal, but, so now we gotta think, what do we wanna do with this? I think that because this is fairly good size, I'm going to cut it in half this way. I'm gonna make it about, let's go six inches because I like that. And I'm gonna make, my tags are about three to three and a half inches. So let's go three inch tags, right? Maybe I'll do three and a half for this one to give us two three and a halfers. Okay. And then I'm thinking, um, what do we want? We can do a belly band or we could do 
why don't we do journal cards? Let's do some, journal cards are kind of a, a little bit fatter. Because you want some space to journal, right? All right. This is Bertha, by the way, for those of you. Welcome, Bertha. This is our Miss Bertha. She's my big girl. I have had her for 30 years. I am so surprised she still cuts, honestly. <laughs> Anything. Um, but she's a heavy-duty girl. She's been around forever. I want to say I probably got her in the 80s or the 90s for my crafting and my business. Well, I think it was probably for my business at that time. Alrighty, we're going to flip them over. What do we got? Oh, I missed a spot, guys. You probably told me that. I'll go back and get it. Don't worry. Okay, so, well, they're okay. So, those are our journal cards. I will probably square them up, but what we would do is we would decorate these. I don't know. They're all right. I'm not, I can't say I'm super excited by them. I don't dislike them, but I'm not excited. So, they definitely need images. They need all kinds of work. So I'm going to take this and where's that little piece right there? Okay. Oh no, that's just, that's just paper. I'm going to glue that on there. I think this is what I don't like, but I'm going to cover that up when I decorate them. So maybe in another video, we will decorate these, right? We'll decorate our, our things and We'll make journal cards out of them and tags. Hmm. I think that's going in the scrap pile. Yeah, these all need squaring up. So they'll get squared up before they get used. Well, you guys, there you have it. Today's little project. Started our Merry Monday, making some journal tags and cards, journal cards, journal tags, and some little pockets, okay, that these kind of things could go into, right? So let me see what time we're at. I think we're all done. Um, oh, yeah, we're over, guys. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to go over, but it was kind of a biggie. We have... Had to get going. We had, I really wanted to show you those cut up, although I can't say I'm in love with them. They're all right. They're just okay. So thanks for watching. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.